Okay, so I had a student, uh, Anna East, tell me about this song called uh, Pan by Pliny and um, talked a little bit about the intro and uh, thought it was pretty cool. Let another student listen to it and uh, he liked it also. So uh, they kind of wanted to work it out because I think, um, I don't know who the drummer is uh, exactly, uh, or Anna East can tell you, but she's not here. But um, the uh, I believe he's doing the 16th note triplets with his with his feet, so it's a double bass thing. However, that shouldn't stop you from playing it. Um, a lot of times, students struggle with fast double bass stuff, and there's always a way of getting around it so you can play the song and still have fun with it by using your lower toms and your bass some. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna take that double bass part, and maybe he's not playing it with his feet. I'm not sure but it kind of sounds like he is. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'll show you a way to play it that uh, is basically just as good. Um, it just, uh, um, you know, you just don't have to use your feet so much. So, um, so I'll, put the, I'll put the thing up uh, on, the, on the screen. It's basically a four bar phrase, okay? Using some 16th note triplets. Uh, and the main thing to remember for this one is the sticking I'm gonna use for the 16th note triplets. You can play it straight. There's nothing wrong with that if you wanted to. Uh, one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, you can do that if you want. Um, I'm going to use a different sticking. I'm going to use a right, left, left, right, right kick. I just think it's got a better uh, feel for me, uh, but I do it both ways. I like that last bass being at the end of the triplet. So that's how I'm going to do the sticking, okay? But you can do it alternating if you want. So it's basically the first measure is just one, two, and, and then the triplet, three. So one. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, okay. One, two, three, and four. That's the first part, first measure. Second measure, two rests. One, two, three, and four, and. That's it. Three, and four, and. Third measure. Um, he just plays and a, and a three, right? Or, I'm sorry, and a, and a two. So one, one E and a two, one E and a two, one and a two, and then he plays that same triplet. Three and four, sorry, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. So one, uh, one and a two, three and a four. Okay, that's basically it. So one. Part. Then he plays eighth note triplets for the last measure. That's it. That's the whole riff, right? It's at about 130 beats a minute, quarter note, okay? One, two, and So again, the, the triplet riff that I'm playing, you know, you could do it. I had a double bass thing. You can do it uh, different ways. Whatever. It gets a little, uh, it gets a little um, busy with the two doubles in there, I thought. So I just like the one at the end. Uh, it sounds big. You got your bigger toms you're using, so it fills up the sound. It might not be the double bass, but um, I can't play it that fast either. So I'm not, 
I'm not Mr. Double Bass. So um, if I was playing the song, it's exactly how I would play it. And then he does a part where he's playing, he's playing a, a hi-hat pattern with his hand, right? He's playing one, two, three, four. So all I do in that part, here's a little trick for you, is you could play the hi-hat and just play the quarter notes to simulate that. The other thing you can do, there's, a, there's an old jazz thing we used to do where we do heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, and we'd get this splash chick, splash chick sound, right? Um, okay, so you can do the heel part and get the splash hi-hat part during that part to kind of simulate, right? So it would be like one, two, three, four. little trick to do to try to get that open sound uh, so you don't have to use your double bass and be playing the quarter note. So little little trick there, works great. Uh, I've done that stuff for years. Um, nobody knows the difference. They, uh, oh, I always thought that was a double bass part. Well, it is, but I'm not playing it that way. So, okay, so I'm going to play the song. Um, I don't know if it'll get blocked or not, but we'll see what happens. So here's the, uh, I don't know how many times he does it. I'm not super familiar with the song, to be honest, but I'll play it for a little while, and then at some point he stops playing and he goes into something else. <laughs> go Pliny pan uh, it's all in four nothing fancy uh, that's it so go back listen to it uh, basically a four bar phrase using some uh, 16th note triplets and some eighth note triplets remember the sticking for the cool riff uh, right left left right what is it I don't even know it that's it right left left right right kick there's your 16th note triplet for the pan Pliny fill to give it a big sound practice 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 that's an easy one uh, you should be able to play that and like I said even if you play the 16th note triplets just alternating that's fine but there's a certain feel I think you get with the alternate sticking I think it sounds better but uh, that's just me you could play it a different way practice 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 tempos 130 start it lower super easy you can have that one down pretty quick um, so uh, it's no Dave's gone skiing I could tell you that anyway have a great day and we will uh, see you for the next video